Bonjour everyone, Pentuf here today for another video on Age of Set Origins. As you saw my previous video about the game, we did the first part explaining the buildings, but we are not finished yet. And in today's video, we are probably going to be able to see everything there is to see and also understand everything there is to understand. Let's go. Before we jump into it, I just want to remind you that for the new players that just created their account, when you're finished downloading the game and finishing the tutorial, clicking on my info right there and then going into settings, you will have the possibility by clicking on redeem gift and putting the code Pentoof, the exact same name as the channel, you will get plenty of juicy rewards and gifts for you to start the game in the perfect way. Let's start off with the biochemical lab, which is basically the building from which you are chirurgically gonna heal some zombies. This building has two aspects to explore. The first one concerns city building and by clicking on the treatment room, you have access to two different characters. Both of them are featuring some skills that will allow you to improve your town. When it comes to the first one, the skill is basically exploring. By clicking right there, you will have the possibility of sending her into missions that will get you some precious rewards that you will be able to use on your city buildings. It can be speed up, uh, true bonuses, etc, etc, or even teleporting aspects. And to unlock this, it's simple. You will have to heal her. You heal her until she gets enough points for you to unlock some new special abilities that you can check right there by clicking on the interrogation mark. As you can see at level 12, you unlock the intimacy gameplay, which will allow you to get even more juicy bonuses. And when you click there, you will have the possibility of seeing them. This is basically a thing that will allow you to unlock a bigger and bigger zombie army. Because yes, that's the second aspect about it. You will have the possibility of getting some zombies included into your army to fight off against zombies. By going into the biochemical workshop, you will see that you have the possibility of unlocking zombie troops. The more advanced the biochemical workshop is, the more troops you will get, which is insanely good simply because those troops are special. They have overall better stats than the regular troops, and on top of that, they can be hidden when you're getting attacked on your city. For example, if you're attacked by someone that is way bigger than you in terms of power, and you know you're going to lose all your troops, you have the possibility of not getting those joining the city defense by clicking right there for them to join or clicking again if you want them to be removed from the city defense which will allow you if you lose all your troops to at least have some to gather resources again in order for you to build back your troops then comes the hospital from which you have the possibility of healing wounded victims or soldiers you got into battle or into trouble then comes the academy which is basically the research lab from which you have the possibility of unlocking new technologies that will either help you gathering more resources maybe developing your city faster maybe having better troops or finally increases your city defense for you to destroy the enemies when they attack you and another important building only when you're in an alliance is the embassy from there you have multiple possibilities the first one is obviously receiving alliance gift every time someone from your alliance is paying for something you will receive a juicy gift here for example i have a friend taito on chan that bought something so i got myself some coins that i will still be able to use after in order for me to unlock some special loots and obviously pay to win items completely for free on top of that, this building is extremely important to develop because it will allow you to get more defense, which implies that if you're getting attacked and your teammates are aware about it, they will be able to send more troops if your embassy is at level 20 than they could be if it is only at level 15 like mine. You also have the possibility of checking Alliance Daily Quest, from which every time you complete the challenge will get you some juicy reward. Now comes the time to talk about those buildings that will allow you to create more units, aka the camp and the factory. From there, you have several possibilities. The first one is obviously to level up your camp in order for you to get units faster and way better units, because the more leveled up your camp is, the bigger and better your troops are going to be. For the moment, I'm only at level 6 troop and it goes till level 11. And the more you climb up, the bigger and cooler the enemies and soldiers are looking, which is always a nice addition to the game. On the other side, we also have an, another special building for you to recruit special troops. And what I mean by that is that those troops are overall better than their tech tree counterpart, I should say, or their regular troop counterpart. Because here you have the possibility of getting two different types of units that are way better on the battlefield. Obviously, they are more expensive than the traditional one, but yeah, they are definitely worth it and will allow you a secure victory. 
Next to it is a dispatch center that serves only one purpose, aka allowing you to get more troops to rally your army when you're attacking an opponent or PvE or PvP talking. This is the only purpose, but it's definitely a worthy one which is quite hard to increase. Finally comes the Elite Equipment Facility from which you will have the possibility of developing new items that will increase or decrease the statistics of your army and the enemy's army or even your city overall. Which is insane because this is truly something that will allow you to get some juicy stats. Obviously the better the items you have in your storage that you can see right there, the better quality and therefore the better stats you're gonna get when it comes to developing items. But hey, those are extremely important because that's where the difference is going to be between someone that knows how to play and someone that is doing literally everything randomly.